a very good morning to all the students of class 9th d yes beta we are going to start new chapter today a house is not a home from the book beehive so please keep this book with you in case you need need to uh, note down something fine so before we start let me introduce the characters of this chapter characters are author himself so he is going to narrate his own personal autobiographical account may be fine so he is using the word i in this so uh, that's why one of the characters is author himself then we have his mother in which they have not uh, told us the name of mother so that's why i have written author's mother or his mother then we have one more character cat uh, who is too much dear to author author saved this cat when it was a kitten only after that uh, author started taking care of that kitten and uh, now this cat also reside with author at his home only then we have school friends and teachers because this chapter is set in this background of teacher student relation and friends and all fine so that's why these are the characters fine now theme what what about the theme of this chapter you know that you all are teenagers you are between the age of 13 to 15 13 to 18 fine 13 to 17 what is the age group uh, teenagers kon hote hain 13 to 18 tak or uh, 13 to 19 tak sorry clear so uh, this chapter is going to shed light on the problems faced by teenagers you know while growing up a lot of uh, changes are there physical changes are there emotional changes are there some teenagers are quite uh, like uh, out uh, going they keep on talking to others they are like social butterflies they easily mix up but most of the times teenagers become the moment you are you know growing up you become so introvert you do not like to talk to others you are so under confident you have a lot of health issues also so and this is the uh, chapter going to deal with adjustment issues actually there comes the change in the behavior of teenagers also they become shy and they you know keep on assuming the things most of the time what you do is you assume the things ki acha aise hai everybody is making fun of me everybody is scolding me nobody likes me i am not being liked by anyone so that kind of thing Uh, while the, in the process of growing up that happens okay very good chapter it is do listen to each and every word of this chapter you are going to enjoy this a lot so adjustment issues in the life of a teenager routine problems seem quite difficult to growing up children you know you find even a small act as very difficult thing even a small thing happens into your life and you are so you know tensed and you start panicking aise nahi waise nahi in that way so one should always be what message this chapter is going to give us one should be grateful and optimistic always we should not have a pessimistic approach we should not think bad about you know ourselves and we should not be you know this is aura only the kind of this is say na the universe is you know spreading its arms to receive us if we will be negative negativity surround us if we will think positive positivity surround us to hame nahi pata hota ki why this thing has happened to us यू नो एज आप कोई मूवी देखने चाहते हो आपको लास्ट में समझ में आता है अच्छा इसलिए ऐसा हुआ था बिगिनिंग में बिकॉज दैट वॉज दी एंड राइट सेम वे योर लाइफ इज जस्ट लाइक अ मूवी ओनली सो इन योर लाइफ समथिंग इज हैपनिंग आई रियली अप्रिशिएट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इट इज कम्पल्सरी टू अटेंड लाइक दिस ऑन डेली बेसिस ओके थर्टी एट पार्टिसिपेंट्स नाउ सो यू नो दैट uh we should be always grateful for what we have rather than you know we should think upon ki mere paas ye nahi hai ya mere paas wo nahi hai we start comparing our lives with others also like you know due to social media these days okay this person is having this i do not you never know what is lagging in others life aapke paas kuch hai dusre ke paas wo nahi hoega jo uske paas hai wo aapke paas nahi hoega you cannot compare and contrast you know you should be thankful for what you have how god has made you fine so you should be grateful to god and you will understand at the last that why that happened everything makes sense you know there is a quote in english that everything falls apart in the beginning which something falls apart at the end it comes all it all makes sense fine sub sense last mein jaake banega so those who have joined please note down beta ye theme aap note kar lo characters are there and now i'm going to share the screen also Let's uh, start the chapter. A house is not a home. अभी मेरे को कौन बताएगा कि difference between house and home कौन बताएगा? Well done, well done. 
more than 40 students jo bachche absent hai unko reason batana padega teen char bachche jo absent hai aaj a house is not a home what is the difference between house and home kisi ko bhi nahi pata hai bas ek hi bachcha hai jisko main nahi bolungi abhi you know always the diksha is ready to answer what about others aur bachche bhi beta please come forward it is really you know i like it the way you answer you can type in the chat box also if you don't want to speak dekhna ye chapter ke baad aapko samajh mein aayega ki we should not hesitate always we should not think negatively always aap ye sochte ho ki it will be insult how will i speak no you should give it a try once you speak you will be so confident yes lisa very good i have unmuted you you can also speak better now lisa batra you have raised hand i unmuted you you can speak okay no response okay riyanshika has written in the chat box home is a place to live but house is a place where family members can live in health the word home is used to talk about the family or the familiar space inside a person's house or place someone was born or lived as a child according to her need home is a place to live but house is a place of family house is just a building very good riyanshika house is just a building whereas home is a place where family members live together with affection and care for each other so this is what i was expecting house is a building made for family and home is a place where family lives very good <coughs> so i got so many messages from all of you those who participated well done to all these students clear uh the thing is yes house is made up of bricks and cement and building is there but it who makes it home the family members make your you know sweet home when with affection with love and care they are living together so who makes it home family members <coughs> excuse me yes anybody who, who would like to read jo read karna chahega <coughs> anybody who would like to read raise your hand पीछे कोई नॉइस नहीं होनी चाहिए बस आपके सिर्फ आपकी आवाज आनी चाहिए रेज हैंड बेटा प्राची विल यू यस मैम यस बेटा रीड my first year of high school felt awkward I, after leaving the junior high stop stop read these lines also this is part of this chapter yes ma'am this story reflects the challenges of being a teenager and the problems of growing up how does the author overcome his problems yes so this story is going to talk about challenges of being a teenager already discussed with you now we are going to read first paragraph yes my first year of being uh, my first year of high school felt awkward after leaving junior high at the head of my class with all seniority the up grade, upper grade levels could afford me it felt strange starting over as a freshman the school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse my closest friends were sent to the different high school i felt isolated so what happened is author had to change the school and first year of high school was very awkward because you know after the junior sometime building is changed sometime the whole school is changed so he is shifting from junior high to senior high it means he has become a teenager now and after finishing his junior high uh, classes he is shifting to senior classes and the thing is uh, his uh, closest friends best buddies were sent to some different high school so he was so isolated isolated means all alone he was feeling you know 
यू बिकम सो कंफर्टेबल विद योर फ्रेंड्स आपको जब मैं कहती हूँ कि आप अपने फ्रेंड को छोड़ के सीट चेंज करके बैठ जाओ यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग सो बैड अबाउट इट आप उठते ही नहीं हो कितनी कितनी देर तक यू नो वी कीप ऑन सो दिस इज दर्ड यू फील सो इमोशनली अटैच टू योर फ्रेंड्स सो ही हैज टू चेंज स्कूल ओनली एंड फ्रेंड्स वर ऑल्सो लेफ्ट समवेयर एल्स सो ही वॉज फीलिंग सो आइसोलेटेड एंड सैड देन I missed my old teachers so much that I would go back and visit them. They would encourage me to get involved in school activities so that I could meet new people. They told me that in time I would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than I had my old one. They made me promise that when that happened I would still come by and visit them from time to time. I understood the psychology in what they were saying but I took some comfort in it, nonetheless. Nonetheless, so according to author, he was missing. So you know, this is the problem uh, of teenagers. It is not easy for them to adjust anywhere. So he missed his old teacher so much that he would go to back to his junior school building. He would meet all you know teachers, and teacher would encourage him, and they would you know make him uh, like they would do promises to him. that they will also visit him from time to time usko वैसे बच्चों की तरह यू नो बहलाना कि यू शुड गो यू नो दे आर ट्राइंग टू एनकरेज हिम कि वन शुड एक्सेप्ट द चेंज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर टीनेजर्स टू एक्सेप्ट द चेंज यू नो आप अपने सीट ही नहीं छोड़ते हो तो वो बच्चे को तो अपना स्कूल चेंज करना पड़ा फ्रेंड को छोड़ना पड़ा सो दैट्स व्हाई ही वाज फीलिंग सो सैड देन One Sunday afternoon not long after I had started high school I was sitting at home at our dining room table doing homework it was cold and windy fall day and we had a fire going in our fireplace as usual my red tabby cat was lying on the top of all my papers purring loudly and occasionally sweating at my pen for entertainment's sake so uh, i told you he was having one cat uh, he saved this cat as a kitten and now that this uh, a uh, huge cat was part of his family only and she was occasionally playing here and there with his pen for entertainment so that cat was just playing around and that was the sunday afternoon and uh, you know he was doing his homework that day it was cold very cold day so that's why that bonfire was going on in the fireplace so some incident is going to happen now let's see what happens she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life my mother kept stoking the my mother kept stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm suddenly i smelled something strange and then i noticed it smoke pouring in through the seams of ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could barely see groping our way to the front door we all ran out into the front yard by the time we made our way outside the whole roof was engulfed in flames and it was spreading quickly i ran to the neighbors to call the fire department while i watched my mother run back into the house so what happened suddenly that day fire broke out in their own room so where he was sitting uh, just getting coziness from that warmth of the fire and he was doing his homework and cat was playing around suddenly he saw that the whole room was filled with smoke and the whole room was engulfed in fire and he within minutes he you know started running here and there to neighbors to call the fire department and mother was also running here and there into back into the house so this is means fire broke out into their house so what happens then my mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents she dropped the case on the lawn and in a crazed state ran back into the house i knew what she was after my father had died when i was young and i was certain that she was not going to let his pictures and letters go up in flames they were the only things that she had to remember him by still i screamed at her mom no what happened mother you know though fire broke out in, into their house she was so uh, you know presence of mind was there she thought that at least firstly i should save my documents which are required in future she collected all the uh, you can say that metallic box carrying documents and she threw that box into the lawn pehle usne metal box ko fenka then she suddenly recalls she again ran into the house which was already engulfed in fire 
and author was outside the house with neighbors and he started shouting at his mother mom no mom no and he knew that author knew that why mother was running back into the house she was going back because she wanted to take the pictures of because his father was dead when he was young so she thought ki he thought that definitely my mother is going to take pictures and letters of my father so that she could not you know that was the only thing with her then till i screamed at her mom no. i was I was about to run after her when I felt a large hand hold me back. It was a fireman. I hadn't even noticed that the street had already filled with the fire trucks. I was trying to free myself from his grasp, yelling, "You don't understand. My mother is in there." So what he, happened? One, uh, of the, he had... one of the firemen, though those who were there, he stopped author going inside. and you know why because he knew that child will definitely follow his mother and it might he get he might get stuck into this so he was trying to author was continuously trying to free himself and he was saying my mother is in there you don't understand let me go but he, they knew, they know that the child can it can be dangerous you know so fire fighters ran into the house and they were acting very logically also so and they saved uh, his mother or not let's read that it's all right they will get her you can see the scene He wrapped a blanket. You can mute yourself, uh, Lita. Fine. Thank you, Prachi, for reading it. He wrapped a blanket around me and sat me down in our car. So you can see that that fireman took Arthur in one of the blankets and usko gadi mein bithaya the. You can see here. So they were just busy in uh, putting out the fire by you can say throwing water onto it. Soon after that, a fireman emerged from our house. Fine. So this is the horrible scene where this this is taking place. My mom in tow. He quickly took her over to truck and put an oxygen mask on her. So her mother was uh, his mother was also saved by one of the firemen, and uh, she was taken into the truck and put on some oxygen. She in engulfed some uh, you can say flames or uh, smoke, not flames exactly smoke, and she was out of oxygen. I ran over and hugged her. All those times I ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her. You know we take our parents for so granted. so granted so when she saw when uh, author saw when he saw that his mother going inside that uh, uh, engulfed house where a fire was broke out and uh, he thought that he might lose her mother also his mother also so he was so afraid you know she is going to be okay said the fireman she just inhaled a little smoke so and then he ran back to fight the fire while my mother and i sat there day so mother was also escaped uh, sorry saved by one of the firemen i remember watching my house burn down and thinking that there was nothing i could do about it so the whole ha house turned into ashes nothing was left fine ek to uska school change hua tha the big change second big change his ha house caught fire and it was burned to ashes five hours later the fire was finally out our house was almost completely burned down but then it struck me uske dimag mein aaya where is my cat i had not seen my cat much to my horror i realized that she was no where to be found then all at once it hit me the new school the fire my cat i broke down in tears and cried and cried i was suffering loss big time please underline these three things what was the loss of the author Firstly, he lost his junior school and entered into the new school. That was the big change. Then fire engulfed his own hire. The whole whole house burnt into ashes. Then he lost his cat also. In this process, he could not find his cat anywhere. So he was uh, suffering loss. He started crying and crying and crying. The fireman would not let let us go back into the house that night. It was still too dangerous, dead or alive. I couldn't imagine leaving without knowing about my cat. regardless i had to go we piled into the car with just clothes on our backs and a few of the firemen's blankets and made our way to my grandparents house to spend the night so they thought that firemen were helping them and without the cat he has to go regardless i had to go we piled into the car so they were just having few clothes and one of the blankets given by firemen they shifted to their grandparents house to spend the night next day monday i went to school when the fire broke out i was still wearing the dress i had worn to church that morning but i had no shoes 
he was having that casual dress which he would wear to church but he did not have shoes and he went to school and uh, i had kicked them off when i was doing my homework they became yet another casualty of the fire uske shoe bhi fire mein chale gaye the so i had to borrow some tennis shoes from my aunt why could not i just stay home from school my mother would not hear of it but i was totally embarrassed by everything to usko laga ki ab kyun bhej rahe ho mujhe school i don't want to go he was not having uniform or shoes and will also to go there ichha bhi nahi thi uski but uh, his mother you know forced him no you should go to school the clothes i was wearing looked weird i had no books or homework and my backpack was also gone i had my life in that backpack the more i tried to fit in the worse it got was i this time to be an outcast and a geek all my life usko lag raha tha outcast means which is not part of the society fine so he is looking like ki kya shoes tennis shoes dale hue hain casual dress dala hua hai na bag hai na homework hai how can i go to school that's what it felt like i didn't want to grow up change or have to handle life it was going to be this way i just wanted to curl up and die so he was surrounded with negativity he was surrounded with negative thought he just wanted to die he never wanted to live life now i walked around like a i walked around school like a zombie zombie is a dead person only dead bodies just a dead uh, person awake huh? without any movement and expression to usko school mein dil hi nahi lag raha tha itna kuch ho gaya uske sath everything felt surreal artificial to him usko laga ye kya chal raha hai this life is not mine I was not sure what was going to happen. All the security I had known from my old school, my friends, my house, my cat, all had been ripped away from me. So, उसके पास अब कुछ नहीं था. If uh, you know, and he was so negative now that my friends were lost, my old school is snatched from me, my house is also burned, my cat has ripped away, everything has snatched from me. And what will I do now? When I walk through that. when i walked through what used to be my house after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever had not burned was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had used to put out the fire the only material things not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to hero heroically rescue but my cat was gone and my heart ached for her usko mother ne smartly kuch documents or important papers and some pictures of his father but there was no time to grieve he was you know missing his cat a lot he, he, there was no time rone ka bhi time nahi tha my mother rushed me out of the house we would have to find a place to live and i would have to go buy some clothes for school we had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank everything had gone up in smoke sara kuch unka स्मोक ने इनगल्फ कर लिया था सो दे वर लेफ्ट विद नो मनी सो दे हैव टू बोरो सम मनी फ्रॉम देयर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स दैट वीक द रबल दैट यूज्ड टू बी आवर हाउस वाज बीइंग क्लियर्ड ऑफ द लॉज इवन दो वी हैड रेंटेड एन अपार्टमेंट नियर बाय आई वुड गो ओवर टू वॉच देम क्लियर अवे डेब्रिस डेब्रिस मींस जो बचा कुचा था घर का पार्ट होपिंग दैट माय कैट वाज समवेयर टू बी फाउंड अभी भी उसको उम्मीद थी दैट वेयर इज माय कैट आई कुड फाइंड आउट दे यू नो टुक अ रेंटेड अपार्टमेंट नियर बाय द हाउस तो अभी धीरे धीरे उनका हाउस क्लियर होने लगा जो जल गया था दे स्टार्टेड टेकिंग द डेबरीज अवे होपिंग दैट कैट मिलेगा उसको नहीं मिला ही कैप्ट ऑन थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट लिटिल किटन इन द अर्ली मॉर्निंग व्हेन आई वुड डिस्टर्ब हर एंड गेट आउट ऑफ बेड शी वुड टैग अलोंग आफ्टर मी क्लाइंब अप माय रॉब एंड क्रॉल इनटू माय पॉकेट फॉल एज डीप आई वाज मिसिंग हर टेरिबली यू नो यू आर सो अटैच्ड टू योर पेट्स यू आर सो अटैच्ड टू देम दैट यू कीप ऑन यू नो दे हैव सम जेस्चर्स दे हैव सम actions to show you and you are so attached so he was missing his cat badly now it always seems that bad news spreads quickly and in my case it was no different everyone in high school including the teachers was aware of my plight i was embarrassed as if somehow i, I was responsible what a way to start off a new school this was not the kind of attention i was looking for you know when you go to new school you are like thinking that I, i will get attention for what i do in the class how i perform and he was thinking that if this is not the kind of attention i was looking forward to you know i will be known as uh, the person who do not wear uniform who does not have uh, uh, 
प्रॉपर फैसिलिटीज बैग भी नहीं है होमवर्क नहीं करके आता है अपना घर नहीं है सो ही नेवर वॉन्टेड टू गेट ही नेवर वॉन्टेड टू बी इन लाइम लाइट फॉर रॉन्ग रीजन सो ही वॉज फीलिंग रियली बैड फॉर हिमसेल्फ ही केम इन टू द सेल्फ पिटी you can say then pessimism negative aura crying all the time so his life was surrounded with uh, he was just feeling for what he was not having so he was obviously he was shattered in you know that what was happening to him uh, rest we will continue tomorrow fine kyunki bell hone wali hai but you tell me now uh Yes, those who are still attending the class, there are thirty, thirty-three children, thirty-three. See, and forty-one they in the beginning. Those who are here till uh, Riyanshika is taking care of this thing. Riyanshika, are you there? So please take note. रियांशिका रेज योर हैंड इफ यू देर यस सो प्लीज टेक नोट कि ये जो बच्चे लास्ट तक रहे हैं दोज हु आर देयर फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ओनली दे विल बी मार्क्ड प्रेजेंट फाइन फोर्टी स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइंड फोर्टी वन स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ फोर्टी सिक्स इन टोटल चार पांच एबसेंट थे और अब आते आते लास्ट में टेन मिनट जब रह जाते हैं दे जस्ट लीव द क्लास Then they send me screenshots, ma'am. I was there. Ye dekho, maine to sari class attend kari hai aapki. Fine, this is not the right way. Please, so send me responses. Who attended the whole class? Jaldi se. Let me check. Kon kon baitha. Brijesh, are you there? Baaki hai jin jin ka main name le rhi hu, wo mujhe hand raise karke dikha do. Brijesh. Gurshan, okay, Brijesh is there. Gurshan, are you there? Navya, Aryan, चलिए बेटा बैल हो चुकी है. Have a nice day. We will continue this chapter. Okay, all are present. Those who are here.